This is part two. Previously we flew to Hong Kong with Cathay Pacific on the A350, simply lush. Today, we are flying onwards to Bangkok. This is Alex and Brent, and this is Lift Off and Travel. Unfortunately, due to a tight connection, we didn't have time to visit the lounge. This was a shame, because we absolutely love the Cathay Pacific lounges. Fear not though, because we are travelling with Cathay Pacific in April to the Philippines and Indonesia. So we'll do a full comparison of all the lounges. Subscribe and like below so you don't miss out. Time to board our flight, we're using an A350-900 heading to Bangkok. Today's journey, covering 1,000 miles, will take just over 3 hours. And whilst we're absolutely loving and are so grateful to fly business class, we are absolutely exhausted because on the previous journey we left Amsterdam at lunchtime and sleep was a struggle. Business class is laid out in a one to one configuration so everybody gets aisle access. Me and Brent have chosen to sit in 20 and 21A because this is in a mini cabin. This gives more privacy and better views of the wing and the engine. For a chance to get your hands on the amenity kit from our travels as well as supporting our new channel, please subscribe and like below. It takes less than a second and costs nothing. Thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed and liked so far. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we'll release the full details. Thank you. Pacific uses a Super Diamond product, which can be found on a huge number of airlines. There's plenty of leg room, but if you're taller than 180 centimeters, you may find the bed mode a little bit restrictive. After rushing through the terminal for the flight, we were very happy to be offered a hot towel and a welcome beverage, which I drank before filming, but the water was very refreshing. It's time for the safety video and pushback. I'll run for the menu, the seat and the meal after we take off. Let's start with the in-flight entertainment, which features this pretty impressive and large Full HD display. I love that they customised the display with a hint of the destination you are travelling to. A really impressive range of movies in a variety of languages. Cathay Pacific does this really well and caters to both the Western and Asian markets. There's also live television, music, games, a kids section, and what I personally like best is a decent moving mat and the tail cam which is under the belly and on the back of the plane. The right is an armrest which should come upwards, however the mechanism is very stiff. The section closer to you extends outwards to widen the bed in flat mode left is where you'll find this cleverly hidden tray table. It doesn't slide though once extended, so once it's in use you can't easily leave the seat. Also on your left is a controller for the in-flight entertainment, an LED light and the controls for the overhead light and the seat functions. Hidden behind this is a cubby hole with a little pocket, mirror, headphones, charging point and a longer flight and a mini ticket and a bottle of water opportunity to use the lounge, I'm a little peckish. Let's see what's on offer in the menu. I'm also happy to say that as of March, the wearing of a mask has become optional on Cathay Pacific flights. Previously, you could only remove your mask for food or drink. I've gone for a western breakfast which consists of a pork sausage, back bacon, mushroom and tomatoes with a cheese frittata. This is accompanied by some fresh fruit and a croissant, all very tasty. I ate this had a blueberry yoghurt, my usual Cathy Delight and a Hong Kong milk tea. Sugar overload, but so delicious. And after the meal service, nearly everybody closed their window shades to allow connecting passengers to get some rest. Ah, that's better. I'd given up trying to sleep, so with nearly one hour to go, it was time to visit the bathroom as soon as it became available. A350s are really new, so the bathrooms are pretty nice. Modern, clean, there's plenty of mirrors featuring Bamford products which felt luxurious. The best part though has to be the window view. Obviously you can't watch this while you're sitting down sadly. Shortly after, I'm back at my seat and suddenly wondering why the weather looks like the UK. Turns out we arrived on the only cloudy and wet day of the month. We didn't know it, but we were in for some great weather. If 
If you are flying long haul with Cathay Pacific, or you're just curious, you can click on the link from our review from Amsterdam at the end of the video. We always have a great time on Cathay Pacific. The only area we feel could be improved is the food. It's certainly tasty, but in terms of presentation, you can see they've had to slightly scale back the cost. But given the three years the airline was suffering from the pandemic, I think this can easily be forgiven. So, Brent. Yeah. Cathay Pacific. Domestic. Oh, no. Local. How was it? Great. I really enjoyed it. We did it before in, um, when did we do it? November. And that was just as fun as this time. So, yeah. 10 out of 10 for me. Although, obviously, big and great because it was an A330 yeah. last time. A350 this time. But what was your highlight? Um... Probably life plan then for a two hour flight. That's pretty much unheard of in Europe. Amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like below. Many Bye, thanks. Guys. Bye.